Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server amateur or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in jumbles below. I give you a shout out when I get around to it. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like because that helps me out for helping you guys out. So this week is Bed Wars Reloaded as requested by Eunice Emer. Cube Heroes, Czech Republic 98, which I don't believe it's called the Czech Republic anymore, MC Gamer HD, David Plays, Pierre, Pierre, Pierre Franck, Anthony1818, Pro Girly PvP, -er, and it's made by Yanichi, I think is how you pronounce it, or Yanisi, I'm not entirely sure, but it is a fantastic free plugin. It, uh, it, it's kind of like the Egg Wars plugin, but Bed Wars has been around a lot longer. Uh, basically, both teams collect resources from different drop points, spend them in the villager shop, and then they have to protect their bed. Once their bed is is eliminated, they don't respawn anymore, and then last team standing wins. So this plugin does work with 1.8 and 1.9 servers, no longer 1.7. You can set it up on Bungie Cord, so each server is its own arena, but each server has to be its own arena, and that is it. And I'll show you guys, or I'll talk about how to set that up in a few. And as you can see behind me, it does allow for holograms as long as you have uh, H uh, hologram display or uh, the other one that's out there. It does work for both of them apparently. So the permissions, you want to give bw.base to your default users. That allows joining, leaving, all that stuff from the, the ga different games. You have bw.setup, you want to give that to your mods or anybody who's setting up arenas. And then bw.vip.star, that allows that player to do force start and then join full games. BW command allows the player to be able to run other commands. So you want to give this to your mods or ops who might, might want to mute people or kick people from the server flat out while in game. Otherwise, they won't be able to run those commands. BW.other stats be able to check other people's statistics and then bw.kick allow to kick players from the current game. So what you want to do now is you want to import your bed worlds world here or put your bed worlds map anywhere but we we, we imported one named kingdoms by building reborn and so we're going to go mvtp uh, kingdoms. All right so now we are in the map, which it's a really cool map. We've set a we've set a walkway for tutorial purposes. That'll be apparent here in a second. So we want to teleport to the world. We don't really need to teleport to the world first, but we want to do BW add game and then kingdoms and then minimum players. So we're gonna do minimum players of two. We're gonna do BW add team kingdoms and then we wanna add the blue team and then the color is gonna be blue and then max player is going to be two. You can set this up to be whatever you want. And then we're going to add a red team, red, red, two. And then we want to do BW set uh, spawn blue, um, oh, sorry, kingdoms blue. So there we've set our spawn. We're going to set the bed, which is actually up here. So you just set your bed down, look at it, do BW set bed kingdoms blue so that is the blue kingdom or blue teams bed and then we want to set the spawners now you probably don't want to set them right next to each other but we're just doing this for tutorial so you want to stand on it and then do bw set spawner kingdoms and then bronze this is all set up in your configuration. If you want to change the types of these, you can. These are just by default. So if you'd rather have iron, gold, and diamond, you could do that as well. Now, it doesn't matter what block they're on. That's just It's going to set the spawner to be the spot that you are standing. So the next part is we want to set the game region area. We don't need to set the whole area just because this is just a tutorial, but we want to do BW set region kingdoms location one so this is going to be like that box cuboid so one corner to one corner so now we want to travel all the way back over to the red side and down below and then we can set the other side of that region all right so now we're on the other side so we just want to do the same thing and do loc two 
and then I'm gonna set up the red real quick and then we'll be back in setting more. Okay, so before we continue on with setting up lobbies and all of that stuff, we want to come back over here. I wanna talk about shops. So the players generate money from these spawners and then they interact with the item shop and all you need to do for setting up an item shop is to place a villager in a place that they can't get away from but people can still right click on it now obviously it's not going to show like that once the game is started we'll show you guys what the shop looks like um once we get to there all right so we've set up kind of this platform this is going to be the lobby for the game now you don't need to set up a per arena lobby if you're having a bungee server you're probably not going to do this but if you're going to have multiple arenas on the same server you probably will so you would want to set um in order to have a lobby per arena first you need to set up a main lobby by going into config and then going enabling it which we'll go over here in a moment but we're going to do bw set lobby kingdoms now we've set the lobby now we want to set the join uh, the way that they can join the two teams. So we're going to set up two iron uh, armor stands. We're going to do BW set, or sorry, add team join. And then kingdoms is the name of the arena. And then red. And then you right click on that and blue. And then it's all set up there. So one last thing we want to do, we want to give credit to building reborn. So we're going to do BW set builder kingdoms. Uh, building reborn and then once that's all done we want to do BW save kingdoms and it's not gonna allow us because there's actually an error so if you ever try to save the map before you finish setting up things it's gonna actually tell you what you haven't done and since we've enabled the main lobby we haven't actually set it up so we want to go back and set up the main lobby here so let's go over to our little makeshift lobby here and then we're going to set up the lobby so bw set main lobby kingdoms there we go now we can do now we can save it now we're almost done so if you want to add holograms like this so we're going to do um i think if we do bw remove hollow there we go. And then you can do BW add hollow to add it back. Now, obviously you're gonna wanna kind of fly so it's not setting in the ground like that, but we're gonna set up the join sign. So we just do bracket BW bracket and then the name. And there we go. So now you're almost ready. You've set up everything correctly. Now the next part is to start the your map. So we're gonna go ahead and start it. So now players are able to join. So we're gonna get our little sidekick here. He's gonna hop in. And now you can see that one of four players. So since there's two teams and a max of two players per team, you can do that. Now, obviously you probably wanna add at least four for this map because there's four different spawning spots. So we're gonna take blue since we've set up blue. And you can see that it gave us that armor there, which is pretty cool. And then we're gonna get him on red. And once he right clicks on it, it gives him all of that armor. And then it, the countdown timer is starting. You can see in the bottom there that it is counting down. You got a sweet scoreboard on the side that you can modify. We'll be back with you guys in a minute here. Okay, so here we go, counting down. And it's a whole lot of notifications for the countdown. But um, here we go. We can see that our generators are going. They're kicking out items. You can change the rates of those at any point and then you can right click on the shop and get a bunch of things now you're probably going to want to modify this so it's not in german if you like and you but we can purchase other blocks in here and then uh and then we're able to build out so let's go ahead and see if we can purchase a sword and go kill doppel here all right so here we are we can go ahead and kill him um but it is not going he's not going to lose yet But we got we got the points for killing him he just respawned in here because we haven't destroyed the, the bed so we're gonna go ahead and go destroy the bed real quick and we pushed him off and there we go we won and that's pretty much it you can see we got the countdown going to get back to the lobby it's gonna send us back to the main lobby
And then we'll talk about the bungee cord stuff. Okay, so for setting up the bungee cord, I'm not actually gonna go through it, I'm just gonna talk through the directions to do it. So you need to create your own server for each arena, and it can be the only one arena per server. And then you wanna start your server with a special script that will automatically restart the server once it goes down, which this might actually be helpful for making sure your servers stay up. And then you wanna update the config to set the hub server to be the hub or lobby server that you use, whatever the name is, we'll talk about that in the config. And then you wanna set the bungee cord to true in the configuration and then join the server and set the arena and map only for that server, one per world. Let's jump over, take a look at the config and wrap it all up. Okay, so here we are in our server. We're gonna jump in. You can see that Kingdoms map is there. We're gonna jump into the plugins folder and then we've run uh, bug bed wards reloaded i forgot to mention that um if you want to run the holograms display not only is the holographic displays uh, required but also the protocol lib is required and we're going to jump into the here and then we're going to open up the configuration file now i'm not really going to talk through this everything's pretty straightforward you can modify different kinds of commands uh chat prefixes holographic stuff um lobby time different kinds of times different sounds, all that stuff, um, lot, how the scoreboard looks, um, all the stats shown, what they win, uh, what the title, fade in, fade out, friendly fire, if you want to enable that, although there's nothing friendly about friendly fire. And then here's kind of where you want to set your main, main lobby. So if you don't want to have that two lobby thing where there's just one lobby for all of the games, you can um, not set this to true. It is false by default, so that's in there. And then here's your bungee cord area. You can set that to true. You can set your hub server, whatever that's going to be, and then which you know what is going to happen, and the different kind of meshes of the day for that server, so you can see what's going on on that server. Here's with the resources. You can change what resources they are, what they're named, the amounts, all that stuff. You're probably going to have to restart your server before that comes up. So if you don't want to use bronze, you can do iron, gold, and diamond, whatever it is. Um, by default, rewards is false. You can add custom rewards for winning and end gaming and destroying the game and all that stuff, um, which is really kind of cool. If you want to give them tokens or in-game money and then here's a bunch of special items that you can use and then the sign and the way that looks now the other part is your shop you can modify what is in the shop different cost of items uh, what they look like you can change the name of them so it's not German or whatever language you you need it to be in and uh, that's pretty straightforward I'm not really gonna go through a whole lot in this you could just modify what's already there and um, the author does a great job of showing you guys uh, the layout of it and all that. All right, that is it. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and helped you get started on this great plugin. I can't believe this plugin is free with how complete and just polished it is. It works really well. If you're ever kind of working, I did uh, have a problem where I saved the map twice and then it gave an internal error and then I lost the map when I restarted the server. So if you ever run into internal errors, you know, first check, make sure you're on the right version of Minecraft. That's the number one reason. And then, um, the second is restart your server before you continue working on your map. You might lose all your changes, but also be sure to save often. If you make any changes to your map or any kind of settings changes, be sure to, to save those. Otherwise, they will be lost. So this is Cos reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Uh -oh.